you just crashed your only drone. How would you? Do you right. know how expensive that is? Right. I thought it would be easier than that. I'm sorry. What do you mean you thought? You said you'd flown a drone well, before. I've, I wouldn't let you fly I've, a drone if you never did. I've flown easier guys, it's, things it's like, like little shots. cars and what, games. You've never flown a drone before. How no, are you going to fly a drone I mean, without right. flown it? You should have got somebody who knew actually how to fly a drone. It's not my fault. I asked you not if you've flown a drone. I asked the whole club if you've flown a drone and you said that I flew the drone before. All right, well, I thought it would be easy. I'm sorry. I apologize. Wait, how did you lose the drone? You said we could always get another one. We can't get another one. You're throwing another bunch of drones. Okay, well, we could do other things. This message has been brought to you by the award-winning Ward Melville Players. This message has been brought to you by the award-winning Ward Melville Players. This message has been brought to you by the award-winning Ward Melville Players. This message has been brought to you by the award-winning Ward Melville Players. This message has been brought to you by the award-winning Ward Melville Players. The award-winning Ward Melville Players. The award-winning Ward Melville Players. The award-winning. What award did the Ward Melville Players? Follow-up question. Okay. Yeah. Are you ever going to stop telling us? No! No! <laughs> I'm going to procrastinate a lot. I don't know, I'm not going to do any work, but like, it should be fun. I'm looking forward to sports. Like, I don't know. I'm excited to spend my last year with my friends, and uh, I think it's going to be a good year. Thank you for coming. I am. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. How do you think it's going to go? I think it's going to go pretty well. Yeah, I'm excited for senior year. I think it's going to be a fun year with all my friends. Um, what, I think what's we're going to have the fun? best parties. <laughs> and I think my classes are going to be really easy. Okay. <laughs> Who is your favorite teacher and why? I'd probably say Miss Kane because she has a really nice atmosphere and we actually learn stuff that's really cool too. Uh, probably Mr. Stewart and his box jumping skills. Dr. Kelso because she helped me a lot with my college essays and becoming a better writer and she's really kind and caring. Miss Whitman is my favorite teacher of all time. Mr. Otis because of, I mean all the stories he told, he told us, um, told us a lot of good stories and I mean, he got me to look at English and writing in a different way. So favorite teacher, D'Lo, because, because she's like my school mom. And like, even if I'm having a bad day, it's like sometimes she'll have a bad day or sometimes she'll give me the words that's like, okay, like I don't really need to have a bad day right now. <laughs> Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Mr. Tan. I think my favorite teacher is Ms. Swiner because I can just tell she's really passionate about what she teaches and she's really into anatomy and physiology and she just wants you to like get the most out of it and really like learn. <laughs> Boys, can I speak with you for a moment? So I've been grading the essays and I ran into a little bit of a problem with yours. Somehow your essays are the exact same, word for word. You literally didn't even change the name on the heading. Now how in the world did that happen? That's not possible. My work is entirely my own. This is outrageous. I never give people my work. I never even think of giving people my work. The highest percentage I've ever had on Turnitin was a three, and that's because it, it detected my name as copied. I, I just, there's just no way. 
how could it have, there's just no conceivable way how that could have happened. Plagiarism is unacceptable, gentlemen. I've got to give you both zeros. What? No, don't do this. Sorry, guys. My hands are tied. <sighs> Dr. Baum, I have a serious dilemma, and given our professional relationship over these past three years, I know you're the only one who will help me. Dr. Baum, you're my last hope. Young Ben, I'm Mr. Bernhardt. I'm your new principal. Any concerns or questions that you have, you will just come to my office and see me, and we can discuss what you think would make our fine institution an even more fabulous one. Oh, all right. My grade in the class? I have no idea. I haven't been there in weeks. I ended up getting a 50 on my essay. My GPA is surely ruined. All my colleges are gonna rescind me. I'm not trying to do any work. It's senior year, baby. So what would you change about Ward Marvel? Nothing, it's perfect. Definitely the teachers. Only one thing? Uh, I would start school about an hour later, so I wouldn't have to get up at a godforsaken time. The uh, <laughs> fried the chicken sandwiches suck. I feel like, ha like we don't even know half the grade and stuff, just because like we can't help it. Like the school's so big, but like imagine if we all just like were best friends. <laughs> you know, I think Ward Mobile's a really great place. Like just the people that come here, the students, they're all really great. Like the work that we, it's really, it's really good and. Um, <laughs> I think that like you can make it, but like honestly, it's just really good what we have here. And I don't know if we can have the same stuff in other schools. And I really like it, you know, like the work and like work day. I would change the no phones in the library rule. Um, I would change the hours and off campus you could go during lunch. I know. I, I like to wear hats. I wear beanies pretty regularly, but um. I always get told to take them off at school. I just think it's like an innocence thing. Freedom of expression, you know what I'm saying? No hats in school. The hall monitors who sit over there don't let me leave the library to go get food, and I can't come back if I leave. I would make Tuesdays officially Jack Swain. Swain train Tuesdays. <laughs> Definitely open camps, because like sometimes you want to hang out with your kids from like comp squad. I would change everything. I would give Ward Mobile a complete makeover. Um, I would change the style and the hair and the face. I would put a hallway in between this upstairs and the other upstairs. So I don't have to go downstairs and then back up if I have signs and men. I would get rid of the mean lunch lady who makes me take a milk or a fruit with my breakfast. <laughs> I feel like there are a lot of cool people around me. Everyone's so like afraid of getting out of their way to meet to talk to other people that it's really difficult and you it's really difficult to meet others and you miss and you miss out on them. Honestly if I had one complaint probably the parking is kinda of terrible so I mean if we can get close to parking especially in the winters it helps out. Yeah students should be allowed to park instead. That's facts. The senior parking lot. Make it closer. Or like at least let us park over there and not like in Guam. My opinion on the senior parking lot is there's a lot of spaces, lots in the back, lots in the front, mostly in the back. Good exercise, walking uh, to the building, lots of bad drivers. That's sort of the gist of it. I think it's great that they provide, you know, a place for us students to park rather than 10 point where to get a ticket or get hit by someone and no one would know who it was. But um, sometimes you get a little sketchy with all the other drivers and their intelligence levels. My driving skill is probably like, pretty aggressive, but also like top notch. But I'm also like, could probably easily get into an accident, but I won't, that's the thing, I just won't. But I could, but I won't. Last year, you know, most of the drivers were good, but that's probably because I parked towards the end of the year once they had some more driving under their belt. But this year, it's been a little rough, you know? Some of the drivers, they just, they don't know what's up. 
I was backing out, you know, parked down by the tennis courts. And it's a little bit harder to back out of there, especially because, you know, I'm short, can't really see out my back window, to be honest. And I was backing out, and there's a car behind me, and I thought it had moved, and I was waved out by a friend, and instead of looking before I backed out, I kind of just went for it. And then I hit a car! <sighs> and bumped into her car. There was like dents on her car, dents on my car. Really embarrassed, went home and cried. And that was about that. Oh, and then I had to come back and fill out an accident report. Yeah, I learned that you really need to look when you drive. Not that I didn't know that before, but now I know that you really need to look when you drive. I feel like when people pull out of the senior lot, they don't really look where they're going. The speed bumps really aren't there. People just speed down the senior lot. And one time, someone was speeding down the opposite direction, and I was going that way, so we kind of ran into a problem, but. It's like, what, a month of school now? And there have been like seven car accidents, so kind of scared at the end of the day to see my car, see if it's hit or not, so that's fun. It's a race, like everyone just tries to race to get out. They race to get to the senior lot, and yeah, it's whoever gets out first. It's like kind of a competition. I get here like third period, so there's no spots, and the walk is brick, so it's, it's <laughs> terrible, honestly. I think we need to park in staff, really, and staff should park here. That's, <laughs> that's the best alternative that I can think of at the moment. Morning, War Melville. You right know it's your boy Pascal back it again with the news. Hey, and today we got a special guest. His name is Mr. Samuel Kim. How are you doing today? Um, I think we got connected. Uh, thank you for having me, um, Mr. Marcelin, and. Um, like, you know, I would like to take some uh, time to talk about the crisis in Venezuela. As uh, you know, and uh, the world, the international community probably knows, uh, the interim president, Juan Guaido, has um, solicited... Uh, we now go live to the Ward Melville Street Correspondent in the senior lot in response to Junior's parking in my lot. My lot. Please check out my podcast, Polychat. It's on. Ain't nobody be parking in my lot. Dude, I don't understand what your issue was. I was pulling out of my spot. Dude, and you I hit my car. You hit these nice tires. These are nice soft tires. Thanks, Pascal. As you can see, we have uh, one junior and a senior no, arguing no, behind us. Right here, I wonder which one's which. Yeah, right, right, right. Junior's right. I'll call my dad right now. Where are you going there? Where are you going, Yeah, daddy? So which one of y'all is junior? I mean, well, I'm not the one who's five foot, so. I thought the one stupid enough to come across all these stupid spots. Yeah, my dad says that Junior shouldn't be allowed in the parking lot anyway. I mean, I have six months more driving experience, so I feel like if anyone should be in trouble, this is it's stupid. you. This Look, is you're ridiculous. a Junior. I, I am not a Junior. I'm a Junior. Thanks for that report, you snackalicious devil. Looks like we're out of time. Thanks for tuning in to the Ward Melville Report. When news breaks, we fix it. Tune in next week to the... Oh, wait. I just got a report, this show just got canceled, and I'm out of a job. I don't think, um, Fashion is like the only thing that can define a person, but I think it's just one of the like many outlets for creativity. I think it's also really cool to see people like have a reaction to what you're wearing. Definitely shows person's personality, their creativity. It could even show interest depending on like the jewelry they're wearing or anything really. If you're not like gonna have a conversation with someone that you don't know, like you might look at the way they dress and that's your first impression of the person. I wouldn't say it's necessarily that they don't care about what other people think they look like. 
but they're okay with being themselves with how they dress. They're more comfortable that way. I think fashion could say a lot or a little. I think it says very little about myself. I kind of just throw on a lot of colors. I try to look like a cartoon character most of the time. With fashion comes a lot of things that comes together, like really shows like the feeling and like almost like the vibe of a person. I'm into layering clothes because warm level temperature is like, <laughs> if I just wear a long sleeve, it's boring. If I just wear a t-shirt, it's cold. So I combine them so it's perfect. It's interesting, edgy and warm. What's a secret you can tell us? A secret? <laughs> <laughs> um, I sit in Mr. Hines' office. Most of the time he does it now. And I leave him notes in there too. He appreciates them. <laughs> Every morning I clog the toilet in the conference bathroom. I don't know, I've skipped class a few times. Uh, one time I was playing field hockey, it was during practice, and soccer had a game and they were playing their music and they played the song Hell's Bells and like the bells started ringing and me and my friend Shannon Conklin thought it was the bell on top of the school getting fixed and we were just talking about how annoying it would be during tests, like when it would go off every hour, but we realized it was a song when it started playing. <laughs> when I was in 10th grade, when I was, when I was like dating a guy, um, I thought I saw him in the hallway and I ran up to him and I jumped on him and I like kissed him on the cheek and basically tackled him to the ground and it wasn't him and I ran away. I screamed so fast away. I was so scared. Last year, me, Jocelyn, and Faith started sitting in the back corner of your of, for yearbook. And then this year Lily decided to join us and sit with us. So we became having our little corner squad. So many inappropriate things happen in that corner that we can't talk about, but they're so funny. <laughs> Whatever happens in the corner stays in the corner. Nothing can be said. <laughs> so I took a rat out and I put him in my sweatshirt pocket and then he pooped in my pocket and I had to clean it up. But he pooped in my pocket though. The Commons, a bustling center of social interaction at Ward Melville High School. This stack of large blocks is home to quite a few students throughout the day. They socialize here, they form friendships here, they eat here. Even though eating in the Commons is strictly prohibited. And the cafeteria is not far. I'm not lying, it's right across the way. It's right there, just there, and there's tables open. But no matter, the inhabitants of this social space are sure to clean up any trash they leave behind. Even after the ninth period bell mocks the end of the school day, a collection of students decide to stay in the commons after hours. But the commons is not without competition. While the library, too, is home to many after school, the environment is quite different here. Many decide to continue their vigorous studies even after their academic classes conclude for the day. While the two gathering places may contrast on the surface, they rely on each other to support the thriving ecosystem that is Ward Melville. So what will you miss about Word Novel? Um, I will definitely miss my friends and uh, all the sports and clubs and great opportunities that we have to get involved in the school. I'm gonna miss like the cafeteria cookies. I think like the stability, like each day, kind of knowing exactly what's gonna happen. But at the same time, I'm, I don't think I'm really gonna miss that that much. Open gym. My friends. Me. People. Yeah, these guys right here. It's like my friends and like all being together and the like hat like atmosphere here. Yeah, I probably miss my friends mostly. I'm gonna miss seeing all my friends in classes. I miss the people. I hate it here, but like I also hate the people. But like I'll hate yeah. the people. You know. I miss the, I miss a lot of the gym teachers. They were they were fun to hang out with. Why are you guys all dressed the same? Uh, 
<laughs> Definitely seeing all my friends in the hallway. I'll probably miss mostly the positive environment of the school. Probably like the clubs I do, like Kaleidoscope and like Tryon oh, and like my friends. What are you gonna miss about this class? Just all the students. I, all you guys. You guys are all fantastic. You're, you're all my children when you're here. So I'm gonna miss, that's what I'm gonna miss. The friendships I made here are like the best friendships I've ever made in my life, and I think I'm gonna miss that the most. Talk Tuesday. Talk Tuesday! <laughs> that's what I'm gonna miss. Proximity to Seaport. Um, oh, Seaport's a big And one. also the people. <laughs> this swim team, you know. Yeah. Just just repping out the swim team. I'm probably gonna miss the atmosphere the most because we've we all known the same people for the past like 12 years and it's just gonna be really different leaving them. I'm gonna miss the art department most because it really helps me like actually like know what I want to study in college. Probably friends, you know, just seeing friends, but besides that, now nah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to leave. Welcome to Ward Novel, where they won't take notes. Got people round terms and they stun in the fur coat. Wanna join the fishing club, just hop up in the boat. It's Ward Novel High with the realest rap I wrote. Before I graduate, I want some tats in my face. Some real gold girls in the Louis Vuitton case. You know I trip so hard, now I'm landed out in space. The school is now mine, I just rented out a place. I never been the type to walk out in a check. All this money coming in like I'm winning all the bets. No matter who you are, you get the bets and respect. I've been saying, frame all homies down in ISS, I'm gone. It's 2019 and we're finally seniors. Green and gold is what you see on the bleachers. The teachers know about senioritis. And despite this, load us up with mad assignments. We in the library on the day it's due. Talking to the AP kids, helping us review. It's true, the month of June is coming up soon. Graduation will lead us all to different locations. Our education is superb. Not many like Melville. Yeah, we're preferred and it's a little stressful. Some are sad to leave, but excited to start the next chapter of our lives, the college part. High school is supposed to be bad opportunity, but kids think they got impunity, like they run the whole community. Here you're supposed to maximize the ingenuity, promote more unity, instead we got some mutiny. You're 18, there's no reason to be hating. I understand that we all have different thinking, but the ignorance is straight up frustrating. Can't we just focus on the educating? These years can have a serious impact on the path you choose and your future track, so take a step back. Have a look at that, and then figure out your plan of attack. Yeah, we learn from the best, yeah, we learn for a test. Now I'ma be my chest, cause y'all know the rest. From the laughs to the stress, from the clean to the mess. Now go do your best, it's time to break out the nest. Yeah. So go do your best, uh -huh. and jump out of that nest. Let's go. Cause who knows, who knows, who knows what's next. Yeah. Just follow your dream, class of 2019, you're done being a team, we out. Brett, tell me, how did how'd your senior year go? Well, I failed English a few times. The year started off pretty great, you know, I was coming in at 9.30, living the dream, and then it all just went downhill. Now I come here, second period, and I'm stuck till ninth for the rest of the year, and I can't miss one single day. It was honestly harder than I expected. Everyone says that like senior year is a breeze, but like, it's so much work, so that kind of sucked. But <laughs> it went pretty well, you know. Ain't no complaints. Everything is good. Everything is all good, you know. Uh, I had a really fun senior year. The homework was like a lot less, and I had a really fun time, like just hanging out with my friends all year. I flew a lot this year, you know, and both seasons you fly planes. So that, that's, that's, that's the best part of the year. Uh, it was pretty good. Like, just don't worry about anything. It all, like, works out, for me at least. So, like, I didn't have to worry about anything. Played football season. Uh, did really good my grades-wise. Uh, I guess I applied myself more often with friendships in school. It helped me out in the long run. Senior year did not live up to my expectations. I actually stressed out a lot for some reason, which it was not worth. So don't advise doing that to all the juniors. Every day, we wedge through packed hallways trying not to trip over each other. Over 1,500 kids populate the halls of our school, and while each of our personal lives are within reach by the rest, in many ways, we are strangers. 
But in these last few days, we have taken the time to look at each other and realize that we are not just groups of kids wedged together in a hallway. We are connected by our shared experience at the most impressionable time of our lives. Our time together will never leave us. When we find ourselves in some other city or small town in September, we will know that there was a time when we had no idea what the future would be. And we were okay with that. And the memory of those innocent times will sustain and comfort us wherever we end up. But for now, we still walk these ridiculously crowded halls. And we have each other. So hold on to that. But I should probably slow it down But it's pretty 